Race against time, we all know every second counts for rescue crews. So today, a dramatic rescue of a woman trapped in a burning home. News 5's Tracy Carlos live tonight. Tracy, you spoke with a neighbor and a dispatcher who likely saved a life today. I did, Frank and Danita. The quick thinking of that neighbor and the quick work of that dispatcher, firefighters told me, likely saved the life of a 59-year-old woman today. A quick moving fire. Be advised that there's somebody trapped. A woman trapped and frantic. We have smoke coming from every window. Just after noon today, a 911 call for help. This West 97th Street house was on fire. The fire started in the basement, and you can see it with these wood frame houses that we have in Cleveland, often the, the fire will travel up the, the channels in the walls. So you can have a, a basement fire that's actually showing out of the chimney or that's actually coming up the walls, threatening the rest of the house. So that's why she wasn't able to come down. Smoke and flames. Marcos Martinez saw what was happening next door. He took his ladder over the fence and put it up to the house in an attempt to help. We spoke with him through an interpreter. Help the, the lady inside in the house because he know he was uh, somebody in the house. At the same time at the dispatch center, Lieutenant James Norman was on the other end of the phone. All Cleveland fire dispatchers are firefighters. Norman spent 15 years fighting fires. He was even firefighter of the year for saving a life. Officials told me that experience is critical to help crews battling blazes. While his co-workers dispatched the crews, Norman was able to stay on the phone with the woman. And it allowed me to try to calm the lady down. I told her, uh, can you just, can you get out? She says, no, too much smoke. I said, can you put some underneath the door to keep more smoke from coming in? She goes, well, there's a lot of black smoke. I said, okay, stay down low and find a window. She was on the second floor, now near a window. Crucial information relayed to firefighters saving precious time. One dog and a cat were rescued. Sadly, another dog died. Neither Norman or Martinez told me that they're heroes. One said he was just being a good neighbor, the other just doing his job. Now, both the woman and the fire captain who rescued her were taken to the hospital. They are expected to be okay. Live in Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5. All right, thank you, Tracy.